I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on optimization of cylinders. Determine the maximum volume of a cylinder with surface area of 600 cm square. You should remember that maximum volume will be when height is equals to diameter. That is to say when height is twice radius in case of cylinders. Right, so that is the condition. So, so if I have a cylinder here, in that case, the height of the cylinder should be equal to twice radius. Right, so that is the strategy which we are going to use to solve this particular question. Now we are given surface area. Surface area for a cylinder is these two surfaces, that means 2 times pi r square plus lateral area 2 pi r h. Now we know height is 2 times radius. So we'll replace that height with 2 times radius. So we get 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r times 2r. That gives us 2 pi r square plus 4 pi r square, right? Which is 6 pi r square. Now surface area is given to us as 600, right? So we can say 600 equals to 6 pi r square. Now from here we can solve for r. So r is equals to 600 over 6 pi, that is r square. So r will be equals to, well we can reduce this, right? Um, 100 over pi square root. So that becomes the radius for this particular cylinder for maximum volume, right? So height is equals to 2r for maximum volume. Now these are important things to remember. Deriving them in a test will be time consuming, especially for such multiple choice questions, right? So, so these are strategies, you could call them tips. So that is a tip to solve such questions here. Once you know the radius, you can always find the volume, right? So now the volume is pi r square times height, right? Area of the base, which is pi r square times height. So we'll again use 2 times r, right? Height is 2 times r. So what we get here is pi times radius square is 6. I mean, I could write this as 100 over pi, right? 6, 6 cancel. So times 100 over pi times height, which is 2 times this, right? So height will be 2 times square root of 100 is 10 over square root pi. Is it okay? So that is the height. So we could multiply this by 2 times 10 is 20 over square root pi. 20 over square root pi, correct? So we can now use calculator to find this answer. So we get 2000 over square root of 3.14, which is the value of pi, right? So let's use the calculator. So it is definitely, uh, let's calculate this out. So 2000 divided by square root of 3.14, which is equal to 1128.66. So 1128.6 could be approximate to 11.30. So option B is the right option. Now at times you may get this question without calculator. So in that case, you may have to estimate here, right? You may have to estimate here. Now, these are very close values. This is a difficult estimate. So I'll give you a link on 
how to find square root of numbers right so so i'll give you a link on uh, calculating square root without calculator that should help right so at times that may help so I hope the solution is clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.